welcome to exchangeformedia.com with me today is the Col- women with the colgate smile ms prabha narsimha ceo of colgate palmolive welcome prabha and thank you so much for speaking to us thank you so much for having me it's a real pleasure prabha my first question is that you know you are heading a new a brand which is 200 years old it already has 90% penetration in india how do you plan to push the envelope and you know take it forward as its new ceo So I think our focus is really not about driving penetration because we are at near universal penetration and I I don't know if you know this but Colgate is actually the single highest penetrated brand in the country. Uh so the opportunity that we have is actually to drive consumption. And if you take a look at the data you will see that about 50 odd percent of rural consumers don't brush their teeth every day and only 20% of urban consumers brush twice a day. So in this opportunity to get rural consumers to brush daily and to get urban consumers to brush twice a day as your dentist would recommend is really the opportunity that we are looking at and the opportunity for the company to grow the second of course is that you can get a lot of benefits from oral care and given the legacy and the understanding that colgate has of oral care there are a lot of premium benefits that we can bring into the market last year we brought in whitening which is a premium benefit and we have a series more plan that will come in so driving premiumization then becomes our second avenue for growth prabha you are one of the youngest indian ceos uh, heading such a big company you are also one of the youngest women indian ceos to be heading a company like this what are some of the things that you would want to change So firstly I think uh, I consider it a great privilege to have this job. This is a fantastic company and it's a fantastic brand. And I must also add that I have grown up with a I have an elder brother and I have grown up where anything that he had I could have had. So I have not grown up in a situation where there was any differentiation between him and me and and I think that kind of takes away the whole you know woman angle of it. But I do think that what I would love to change and bring in a little bit is a little more conversation that is gender neutral rather than you know women awards women ceo that kind of thing because i think everybody does the job that they that they do because hopefully they have the qualifications to do that job so it would be great if we could just evaluate it on a singular plane and what are some of the challenges that the entire personal care sector faces in india So I think more than challenges actually India is just a plethora of opportunities. We discussed a couple of them already in the oral care sector. We also have within our stable the Palmolive brand uh which is I have said in the past and I will say again an underserved brand. It has 60% awareness and a huge opportunity to grow and every time and anything I look at in this country the only thing I actually see is potential. This is your first time in Goa Fest. How is it how's been the experience and what would you want to take back with you so i'm firstly loving the vibe uh, i love the energy i love how young the audience is uh, and so i've had a really great time and i'll definitely take back the memory of the fun that i've had thank you so much for talking to us thank you